Hey guys, more from my first rain team here, my Gabriel Pass, you know, with a My Diana and Azumarill combo. So, I'm looking at this guy's team, and it's so obviously an in-game team, although he may have more than one DS, since he has a Gengar, either that or he just has some friends. So, yeah, and obviously the Regigigas, I don't think you can catch that before you beat the Elite Four anyway, so he obviously has a second DS or friends. So anyway, I'm going with my Tana and Azumarill because, you know, it's so obvious that I can just totally destroy him with those two. And I end up doing that very, very nicely. So my Tana and Azumarill come out, and he sends out an Infernape and a Hound Hour. Horrible choice for him. And it was kind of a, it was kind of a stupid thing for him to do in the first place because if he had been looking at my team, he should have noticed that I had a ton of water types. Azumarill, uh, Luminion, and I'm not going to name the entire team because you just saw it. So anyway, uh, after a little bit of indecision, I finally get the Rain Dance up. And, okay, look at this. Rock Smash. He has Rock Smash on his Infernape, and actually it still does a freaking ton. On my defensive uh, Mightyena, it still does a ton. That was kind of, uh, that was stupid. But anyway. Swagger hits, which was nice. So now I got the quadrupled attack and doubled stab again. So that's always a good thing. You, that's that's just wonderful. So anyway, uh, with the rain dance up, his hound tower uses flamethrower. Does absolutely nothing. It would take him like I don't know, 14 turns to kill me with that if he didn't get a burn. So toxic orb ap activates, and I get or no, I get the uh, I get toxic by the Toxic Orb, and my Quick Feet activates. Sorry. And in this battle, you actually get to see what my Tiana can do, since the first time I used him, he got killed by the uh, that Ninjask. But anyway, he swaps out Infernape for Regigigas, and he also swaps out his Hound Hour for that Gengar. So, yeah, hold on. Let's just wait until he gets done with all the fanfare. Come on. Anyway. Aqua Jet on Regigigas. Watch this. That did a ton of damage. That did almost half to a Regigigas. With Aqua, uh, Aqua Jet did that much. That's crazy powerful. I mean, Regigigas isn't all that good, but the thing that he's known for is that he is incredibly defensive. So anyway, Toxic keeps on rolling down. So I go for an Assurance on Gengar because I would... I don't really know why. I guess when I was fighting this guy, I sort of forgot that he that it was an in-game team. So I was sort of expecting a Focus Sash, but it's an in-game team, so he doesn't have one. So Aqua Jet completely destroys him, as expected. So Gengar leans back three times, and then he falls. Finally. Just die already. Or die again, because you're already dead, because you're a ghost. Anyway, Assurance, sadly, it just barely survives that uh, assurance. And then he goes for Crush Grip, and since Regigigas sucks, if you don't know how to use it, it does nothing. Poof. Nothing. Uh, Regigigas just, it's not good at all. I mean, he's cool and all, but if you if you don't have a strategy to take away um, a slow start, he's just not good. He just, re he really isn't. So anyway, Mighty End is almost dead. Azumarill's still going strong, and then I Aqua Jet his Hound Hour, and I obviously bring it down in one hit because it's just a Hound Hour. And, you know, they have bad physical defense too, but, you know, like, once you get up to a Hound Doom, it's actually pretty sick. But anyway, uh, Facade to finally finish off this stupid lump of golden bands on the weird striped body. With three, no, six eyes. What the heck do you need six eyes for? I mean, I can understand that with Clay Doll, because then you can see what's behind you. Then you can, like, never be ambushed ever again. Anyway. The guy actually took all 60 seconds to choose to s send out his Infernape. He was either just being a really poor sport, or, like, just trying to be annoying, or he just wasn't there. So, And he actually took the 60 seconds to choose his attacks, too. I was able to edit out an entire two minutes. So anyway, Aqua Jet, Infernape dies, and yeah, that's the battle. 
that was easy. I mean, I understand that it was an in-game team and that I totally, totally, totally destroyed it, but I get a lot of losses, so I take what I can get. As long as it's not a rental pass or they're, like, just starting out in their game. Anyway, so I get his, I don't get his friend pass. Bye.